Hey guys, I'm uh, currently making a uh, Pro Gym uh, shake because, as you guys know, I'm a firm believer in protein, uh, making sure you get adequate protein uh, throughout the day. My recommendation is typically around a gram and a half per pound of body weight, so a 200 pound person would consume 300 grams of protein. Now, I've been, you know, taking a lot of flack by these uh, nutrition experts who claim I'm recommending way too much protein. A, it's damaging to the kidneys, and B, it doesn't even work to build muscle. Well, that's news to me, uh, because the research that I've read up to this day, and there's a brand new study that's just out, 2015, showing that one and a half grams of protein per pound of body weight is actually more effective than one gram per pound of body weight. All these other experts hold on to that one gram and say, oh, you don't need to go over one gram. Stepani's crazy over here, one and a half grams. Really? Well, let's see. There were three studies that used one and a half grams. Uh, let's see. There was one uh, Australian study. Um, there was a UK study, I believe, and a, uh, another study, a third study, all using one and a half grams versus 0.75 grams, or close to one gram. And you know what they found? They found the subjects getting 1.5 grams of protein gained significantly more muscle and more mass than the group getting 0.75 or close to one gram per protein. Shocking? No, no. That's why I recommend one and a half grams per pound of body weight. It works. Now, a lot of people say there's studies showing that going up higher than one gram actually showed no benefit at all for muscle mass or strength gains. Well, a new study came out a couple of years ago that refuted the studies showing that protein intake was not important, or at least high protein intake was not important. What they found was the fact, the reason that these studies showing no difference in protein intake with muscle mass gain was that it wasn't enough protein. And what, they, what this study found was that when they combed through all the research, basically you need a spread of at least 50% of either what you were taking before uh, the subjects, be, their baseline number needs to be 50% more protein than they were currently using. Or if you're comparing groups, it needs to be one group needs to be at least 50% more protein than the other group to see a real significant difference. So that's what a, the brand new study published in the Journal of International Society of Sports Nutrition. Uh, Joey Antonio is uh, the head of International Society of Sports Nutrition. He's actually the main uh, researcher on this study. And what they did was just that. They gave one group 1.5 grams of protein and another group one gram, the standard that most people recommend. One gram, don't go over one gram. But they wanted to see, is going over one and a half grams gonna be more beneficial than one gram? And what they found out was yes. What they actually showed was that the, the muscle mass gains were similar between the two groups. They both gained about three pounds of muscle during this eight-week program. These were trained subjects now, trained subjects. So gaining three pounds of lean mass in an eight-week period is pretty impressive. Uh, and the average uh, training period was about five years. They were training for like five years. These weren't, you know, people who were just farting around with weights. They're really trained uh, subjects. But what they really found was that the group getting the extra protein, they were getting 50% more protein, about 500 extra calories per day. And you know what happened? The group consuming an extra 500 calories a day from protein lost body fat while they gained muscle. They lost body fat. Almost five pounds of body fat while they built three pounds of muscle with a high protein diet, trained subjects, trained subjects. And what the researchers found after they split up the subject groups, they found that the high protein group had significantly more training experience than the low protein group. And they also had more muscle mass than the low protein group. And they had less body fat to begin with. So despite being more trained, having more muscle, and less body fat, increasing their protein to 1.5 grams helped them build more muscle while they lost a ton of body fat. The group getting one gram of protein didn't really lose any body fat. Didn't lose any body fat. But the group consuming an extra 500 calories 
extra calories actually lost body fat while they gained muscle. Who knew? Who knew? Well, there's a lot of us who actually know. Those of us who've been doing this for a few decades know what works. Now, the research is good. I, obviously, I'm a scientist. I'm all about the research. But you know what? There's a lot of research showing that protein intake doesn't work. And there's research showing why those studies are flawed. So you can't hold you know, your hat onto every single study out there. I'm more interested in the real data in the gym. And that's where my 1.5 grams comes from. It comes from real data, real people in the gym. Hundreds of thousands of people have followed my programs. Actually, it's millions. If you look at the shortcut to size and shortcut to shred, there are several millions of people who have followed those programs. Insane results by the thousands. By the thousands, because they're consuming one and a half grams of protein. Shortcut to size, they're consuming one and a half grams of protein and gaining muscle. Shortcut to shred, they're consuming one and a half grams of protein, gaining muscle, but losing a ton of body fat. And the research now supports why this works. Getting a protein intake, your high protein intake is going to boost your metabolic rate. And there's actually studies uh, that show that those consuming a higher protein meal have about a 20% increase in their energy expenditure, their metabolic rate after the meal versus a higher carb meal. So it could be due to the, uh, the increase in metabolic rate uh, from the protein. But regardless, one and a half grams per pound of body weight, guys, now shown in several studies to be effective for building muscle and losing body fat. Debate's over. Everyone in the gym army who's been following this advice, you've been doing it all right all along. Everyone else, I suggest you bump up your protein if you want results. If you want results. You want more muscle, you want more strength, and you want less body fat? One and a half grams of protein. It works. Stay Jim Army strong, guys.